In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, multiplying uh, a monomial into a binomial, and then also a, um, a binomial products of binomials. And on the la and there's a second page with an 11, 12, and 13 question in which you're multiplying. Well, technically, it's a monomial into the product of two binomials, but I've left the monomial just as a constant, so it's just a number. So it's not a monomial like the uh, the 3x or the uh, negative x in number two here. So let's start with uh, number one. And so we're going to distribute the 3x into the x minus 7. And I often start doing this kind of thing. So I'll use arrows here. So 3x times the x. So that's going to be 3x squared. And then 3x times the negative 7 would be a minus 21x. And those are not like terms. Just like the x and the minus 7 are not like terms, so you cannot combine that or simplify that further. So in the second one here, uh, the negative x gets distributed into the brackets. So we're going to multiply the negative x by the 6x, so which would be negative 6x squared. And negative x times the 3 would be a minus 3x afterwards. Remember, this is an x squared here because we add the exponents. There's actually a 1 here and a 1 here, so that's why it's an x squared. In the uh, third one, now there's a, there's a couple different ways you can do this, but basically you're multiplying all the terms in this binomial by all the terms in this one. So I'm going to do the arrow thing again here. So I'm going to start with multiplying that x by that x. So that would be x squared. And then I multiply that x by the 6, so that's going to be a 6x. So I've, I've multiplied this x by both terms over here. Now I'm going to multiply the 5 by both terms over here. So 5 times x is a 5x, and 5 times the 6 is plus 30 on the end. And often you'll see the two terms in the middle here are like terms. They won't always be, like if you change some things here, they might not necessarily be like terms, but they are here. 6x and 5x add to 11x, so we'll leave the x squared at the beginning, plus 11x, plus the 30 at the end, and that's the final answer. So for number 4, same idea. So this x gets multiplied by the 4x, so that's going to be 4x squared. This x gets multiplied by the negative 2, so that's minus 2x. And then 3 times the 4x would be a 12x, and 3 times negative 2 is minus 6. And again, in the middle, we have a pair of like terms, negative 2x and 12x are like terms. Negative 2 plus 12 adds to 10, so that would, they would add to 10x. So 4x squared plus 10x minus 6 would be the answer for question number 4. Uh, number 5, uh, x minus 8 times x plus 3. So again, um, x times x is x squared x times the 3 would be a 3x, negative 8 times x would be minus 8x, and negative 8 times 3 would be minus 24. Like terms in the middle, so we can uh, subtract 3x minus 8x is minus 5x, so x squared minus 5x minus 24 would be the final answer for question number 5. For question number 6, so 4x gets multiplied by the 2x, so that will be 8x squared. And then we'll multiply the 4x by the 5, so that will be a 20x. Then we'll multiply the negative 1 by the 2x, so that would be a minus 2x. And negative 1 times 5 is minus 5. Again, one more time, like terms in the middle, 20x minus 2x is 18x, so we have 8x squared at the beginning, the 18x, and then minus 5 in the end. Now the, uh, the next one here is a... Uh, the square of a binomial. So that 2, remember, means that there are two of these x plus 4's multiplied. So now that you write it like this, we can do it the same as we did 4, 5, and 6, and 3 as well, I guess. So x times x would be x squared. x times the 4 would be a 4x. Four, this 4 times x would be a four, another 4x. Four and this 4 times this 4 would be a 16. Like terms in the middle, and actually notice they're the same term. Whenever you're squaring a binomial, those two should be the same. Uh, so that's kind of a make a mental note of that. If you if you're doing a square of a binomial and they're not the same, then something's wrong. So 4x and 4x, of course, add to 8x. So x squared plus 8x plus 16 would be the expanded version of x plus 4 squared. For question number eight. So 5x times 3x would be a 15x squared. Remember, add the exponents, 1 and 1 here, add 2. 5x times a negative 1 would be a minus 5x. And then 2 times 3x would be plus 6x. 
and 2 times negative 1 would be a minus 2 in the end. These are the like terms, so we'll write the 15x squared first. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1, so negative 5x plus 6x would be a positive 1x, and then minus 2 in the end. Uh, number 9, uh, we'll expand the 3x into the 8x first. The 3x times 8x is 24x squared, and then the 3x times negative 5 would be a minus 15x. So I've multiplied the 3x by both of these, so now I'm going to multiply the negative 2 in by both of these. So negative 2 times 8x would be a minus 16x, and negative 2 times negative 5 is a plus 10. Uh, like terms here in the middle, so this 24x squared gets written down. Negative 15 subtract 16, or you can think of it as negative 15 plus negative 16 is negative 31, so negative 31x in the middle, plus the 10 on the end. Uh, uh, number 10 is, is quite like number 7. We're squaring this binomial, so it means there are two of these 5x minus 4s multiplied together. So 5x times 5x would be 25x squared. 5x times the negative 4 would be minus 20x. And then negative 4 times 5x would be minus 20x. And negative 4 times negative 4 is plus 16. Remember, we're squaring, so just like this one, where I had these two terms the same, same idea here. These two negative 20 x's are the same. So 25 x squared at the beginning, negative 20 and negative 20 is negative 40, or negative 20 subtract 20 is negative 40. So those would add to or subtract to negative 40 x and then plus the 16 at the end. Flipping over to the second page for 11, 12, and 13. So in number 11 here, now I have this constant. I mean, we could call it a monomial, but there's no variable with it. Uh, it's multiplied by the product of x plus 5 and 3x minus 1. Now, a couple ways I could do this. I could, ex I could distribute the 2 into this set of brackets, or I could distribute the 2 into the 3x minus 1. You don't do it to both. Okay, the reason you don't do it into both of them is because there's only a single 2 here. There's not two of them. Or you could multiply the two binomials together. That's what I'm going to do first here. So I'm going to multiply these together, and then we'll distribute the two into that simplified product. So I'll start by writing the two down. So when I multiply these binomials together, x times 3x is 3x squared. So I've multiplied that together. Now I'll multiply the x by the negative 1, so that's going to be a minus 1x or minus x. Now I'm going to multiply the 5 by both terms in this second set of brackets. So 5 times 3x is a 15x, 5 times negative 1 is a minus 5. Now I could distribute the 2 in now, but I got a pair of like terms I can combine here. So we'll leave the three, the 2 alone, the 3x squared alone, the minus 5 alone, and negative x plus 15x, or you could say 15x take away 1x is 14x. Now we'll distribute the 2 in. So 2 times 3x squared would be 6x squared. 2 times 14x is 28x, and 2 times negative 5 is minus 10. For question 12, I'm going to do it the same way. We're going to leave this negative 5 out in front here and start by multiplying the binomials together. So 2x times 3x will be a 6x squared in the brackets. So I've multiplied that. Now I'm going to multiply the 2x by the 4, so that's going to be an 8x. Now the negative 1 gets distributed into this set of brackets. So negative 1 times 3 would be minus 3x, and negative 1 times 4 would be a minus 4. Uh, we'll Collect the like terms, so 8x minus 3x is 5x, so 6x squared stays the same, negative 5 stays the same, negative 4 in the end stays the same. I'm just adding these two like terms together, so they add to 5x. So now we'll distribute the negative 5 into the set of brackets. So negative 5 times 6x squared would be a negative 30x squared. Negative 5 times 5x would be a minus 25x. A negative because we have a product of a negative and a positive. And negative 5 times negative 4 will be plus 20 on the end. One last question here in uh, for number 13. So now 3 times 2k plus 6 squared, remember that square means there are two of these 2k plus 6s multiplied. So that's what it looks like in expanded form without the, uh, without the power written here. So I'm going to multiply the two binomials together, so I'm going to leave the 3 out front. So we'll start by 2k times 2k is 4k squared. So I've multiplied that together. Now 2k times the 6 is a 12k. And then, so I've multiplied the 2k into both of those. Now I'm going to multiply the 6 into both of those. So 6 times 2k is another 12k, and 6 times 6 is 36. 
Remember, we're squaring, so you should expect those two middle terms to be the same. So now I'm going to add these together before we distribute the 3 in. So 4k squared, this would add to 24k, and then 36 in the end. So 3 times 4k squared would be a 12k squared. 3 times 24 is 72, so 3 times 24k would be 72k. And then 3 times 36 is 108, and then that's the end of question 13. And we're done. That's the end of the tutorial.